Erev Shabbos. Just coming from the mikveh, heading to buy some things for Shabbos. And uh, I had an idea that I wanted to share with some folks. And uh, I guess you're the ones who I'm going to share it with. I've been looking through different rabbis who I know, discussing the issues of how to interact with our neighbors at this season, which is very important to them. Now, one uh, the man who I had the honor to meet once, uh, Rabbi Ariel Bart Sadok, he's a, a rabbi in, um, in Toledo, Toledo Hills, Tennessee. It's so not a very Jewish area. Um, moved there a number of years ago. You might recognize him if you watch on the History Channel as a show Ancient Aliens. So he published an article, he posted on Facebook, it was something he'd written a number of years ago. An Orthodox rabbi wishes Merry Christmas. Um, and an Orthodox rabbi opposes the war on Christmas. And when I read this article, and I'll try to put a, a link to it,
someone who we would call modern Orthodox Yeshiva University, which is really more centrist Orthodox, um, but uh, <coughs> part of the modern Orthodox milieu. Um, we'll be disagreeing with Rav Scheinberg and be more machmir, more strict. But that's that's really not so uh, so rare because you know in certain things that's how they are. But I think in, in general, of course, the, the centrist modern Orthodox uh, Jewry, for the most part, are very dedicated to Zionism, and I think that is bred within them a certain arrogance that they don't realize. You know, we're in Gullus, we're in exile, and uh, there are certain things that that we have to uh, we can't we can't impose certain things on other people, and, and, but that's one aspect of it. But I don't think we should either. I think, in a, in a sense, we should be impo- we should be encouraging. I mean, the whole question is, you know, how, what what is the laws of these different things? Well, how how do we approach them? What what are they considered? But in, in essence, I, I personally feel this war on Christmas is a war, and the war on Christianity that the left has undertaken is a war on us as well. Even though I'm not a Christian, I have tremendous respect for Christianity. I think Christianity has been a force of good in America, specifically in America, um, that's unparalleled. And so I feel that we should be encouraging our neighbors who are in a sense, even though we don't share Christianity with them, we do share our Bible with them. And even uh, Muslims, I'm talking about peaceful Muslims, which are the majority. Um, also, we share monotheism with them. Even if they disagree on the canon of our Bible or the authenticity of our Bible, there are things that we can find common ground with and find brotherhood with them. And in a sense, since we have so much in common with our Christian neighbors and our Muslim neighbors, I personally feel, and I know I know a lot from the religious Zionist world would strongly disagree with this, but I personally feel we have to be encouraging this because so much of our shared values our neighbors get from these sources. 
such a force of goodness in America. Christianity is the reason we have freedom of religion in America. Christianity is something that we have to be happy that America has. And I know a lot of a lot of the modern Orthodox Jews will disagree with this, but some of the more liberal, open-minded ones I think will understand, and they probably do agree with me. It's more the the right wing of the modern Orthodox, the centrist to the right um, of the modern Orthodox, who are very you know right wing Zionists who have this type of view. But but for uh, but I think you know, and maybe not everyone from the ultra Orthodox world will agree with me. Um, but I think just hashkafically. Being in Gullis, we are people who are in exile, um, and we have a purpose in our exile, which is to be a light unto the nations. We should be encouraging Christians to be good Christians. And if Christmas is something that wakes them up to be good Christians, to peace on earth and goodwill toward greater than that. And so uh, I feel that we should heartedly, as Orthodox Jews, be wishing Merry Christmas. And especially in light of all of the fight against religion in general, of which the Orthodox Jewish community is perhaps one of the greatest victims of by the left, uh, mostly by secular Jews. Um, not all secular Jews, but by the left wing more communist-leaning secular Jews, not, you know, particularly we see in our own community in upstate New York, uh, you know, the great chutzpah was gone on. There was a, a, an election that was stolen, that the people who lived there were not allowed to vote due to a bunch of lies that were told by, by all by secular Jews with communist leanings, openly with communist leanings. Um, and the, uh, this group, they managed, what they managed to do was steal the election from the new residents. And then what did they do? After they had already stolen the election, now they're trying to have the people who brought in new residents who rightly vote and to claim that all oh, those people never lived there and they can't vote and they even they even <laughs> the FBI and got these people arrested <laughs> the irony the chutzpah of that that there are innocent people who were just arrested by the FBI it's just like the story that went on and this is nothing against Islam but there was a woman who claimed that uh, people there were Trump supporters they came took off her hijab and they were shouting Trump, 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 and there were a few other cases like this. That's not Islam. That has nothing to do with Islam. And she was lying. And and now it came out and she got arrested. And I, I can't wait for these same people who make lies. Uh, and not only that, but they actually stole the election. That That's the election in question. It's, it's so ironic and such chutzpah. So, um... And I can't wait to see those people face justice for the lies that they brought up. In any event, that's neither here nor there. But uh, the same war that they have against us, that these communists have against us, uh, has been basically, it's, it's just testing the waters. How much can they get away with? Can, uh, we're, the Hasidic community is, the, in a sense, the canaries in the coal mine of religious freedom. Once the leftists finish their attack on us, they're going to attack the churches next. That's their ultimate goal. And so really we should have solidarity with our Christian brothers and sisters. Um, and for that reason, I hold very strongly that it's a mitzvah to wish our Christian brothers and sisters Merry Christmas. I'm aware of the Gemaras and all these things. That's not talking about now. It's a whole different world now. You know? Um, and and the world has progressed 
and become a better place thanks to Christianity. That's the authentic progressivism. Again, and eventually it will progress from that. The Rambam says Christianity and Islam are all part of the progress of the world to become to spread monotheism throughout the world to the out the furthest islands of the sea. Um, so even though there have been difficulties in the history, most of those things are all gone now. And our enemies are shared enemies. Not, you know, it was the same story, you know, when years ago there was the, you know, the fight between the Hasidic Jews and opposite, and the opponents of the Hasidic Jews. And then what happened, the secularists, the same communist secularists, started a war against orthodoxy in general. And then uh, Hasidic and the anti-Hasidic joined together to the point where there's no more anti-Hasidic, just there's non-Hasidic, right? Um, we're because we're unified in our in our uh, in, in, in our common with our, with our common enemy, but it's good that we're now friends, and so too our common enemy of both Orthodox Jews and really any religious Jew who takes religion seriously, who's right-wing, you have even conservative, even some Reform Jews, particularly in smaller communities uh, where there's really nothing else available. I'm not talking about in the big cities where they have options and they go out of their way to choose something liberal. And, and, and often, as Glenn Beck once pointed out, even though he got in trouble for it, he was right, some of these Reform temples have politicized Judaism and it has nothing to do with, uh, with 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 religion. It's only politics. Much in a similar way, as certain Islamist groups have politicized Islam, and and it's really a hijacking of the religion. And I know he got in trouble for saying that, but it, but there are, are certain places where it's true. In any event, the um, we have a common enemy in these communists who are trying to uproot religion altogether and there's really there's links if you study it to Frankism and, and Sabbateanism there's a lot of problems with this and uh, Rav Yonis Naibashitz pointed this out already in his, uh, I mean Rav Yaakov Emden pointed out already in his day to join that the that, 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 to make a unity and uh, together with Christians against the Sabbateans, even when Shabbat Shalom Tzvi was, was living, and after his passing, as well. So, um, so in essence, you know, this is the, um, this is what I feel, I know a lot of my friends might disagree, but I feel it's a mitzvah to wish a Merry Christmas to any of my Christian friends who are celebrating, I understand not all Christians celebrate Christmas, but those who do, uh, I really do want to wish them a Merry Christmas, and uh, and I uh, I think that in that way we're really encouraging peace on earth and goodwill towards men. We don't have to agree with our theology, I, I, and it's an American holiday. It's a national holiday. And I think there's a reason for that, and, and I think, in essence, that's something, um, you know, I, you know, the, the part of the flag etiquette is to display the American flag on all national holidays, which includes Christmas Day, and I, I personally think that that is an appropriate approach, even for an Orthodox Jew, although we should display the flag all the time, because we should be proud and thankful to be living in a free country with these values, uh, the American values that we hold so dear. So I want to wish everybody, if you're Jewish, I want to wish you a happy Hanukkah. If you're Christian and you're celebrating Christmas, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, maybe you're celebrating later if you're from the from Eastern Orthodox Church. And also a Merry Christmas then. Maybe you're not celebrating, maybe you're celebrating something else. Whatever you're celebrating, if it brings peace on earth and goodwill towards men, if it brings... Uh, uh, ideas of morality and ethics, which I know in, in the past it wasn't always so, and which is why many Christians in early America opposed the celebrations of Christmas. Um, 
and and then it was indeed problematic and and even today the secular approach the christmas parties and all these things have elements of this the secularization of christmas became leads to debauchery so in essence we should be united all together and i wish you all the best to all god bless please like share and subscribe and uh, uh, looking forward to more videos god bless